wrestling. Let's go. Look, Bruce, I ain't going to front, man. I failed that class in high school. Let's be real. <laughs> oh, man. All right, look, man, look. Cash, we like we got a form, man. I ain't going to hold y'all. I want to make sure that we get everybody the information they need and how to plug in with us. What's good, Sanchez? I'll mute your mic and talk to it. Make sure I can get a good uh, mic check from somebody. Let me know if you can unmute. What's up, bro? What's goody? What's goody? What's goody? Can you see me? Can you hear me? Cashmere, can you see me and can you hear me? Cashmere, can you see hey, me? Can you hear go. me? I couldn't unmute, bro. I couldn't unmute. Yeah. Bro. We, we are I good. think I locked everybody to unmute. That's my bad. <laughs> Let's get it. Let me Let's see. Get All okay. right. I just I just changed the settings, you know what I mean, real quick. So here's the deal, y'all. Like I said, man, I'm going to keep this short and sweet. We are here for a particular reason. We're not here to try to sell you on anything. We're not here to try to convince you on anything. We are here to provide you with the skill sets and the tools that we use on a daily basis to murder these markets, all right? One of the products that we use is named Elro, okay? And that's the product, that's the entry product for binary. We use the first strategy, Bounce Elro Go, but Cashmere is gonna go over some other different, uh, different uh, concepts that we have within our community as well. But the gateway to the culture is through Elro. Now, let me make sure I'm clear when I tell y'all this. Binary is a very, very, very difficult platform to trade on, okay? So the group that you're coming into, all these people that are going to be here actually helping you with Binary, they already been through the ringer. They've already made the mistakes for you. So they perfected certain strategies, different ways to get in. Thus, why we built the Pipology Yellow Squad. We've already had people on this call that have done more than six figures in a day that are being consistently profitable in binary, and they're here to try to teach you to do the same thing. I'll be the first to tell you, Kashmir, Sanchez, they've been teaching me binary. I'm not the expert at all. I'm that Forex guy, all right? I trade US 30 every single day, and I'm, I'm a one-trick pony. I'm cool with that, but I'm trying to diversify. You feel me? So y'all are about to be a part of a community that's about to blow up. Pipology Nation started for the only goal is to trade, win, and grow together. And we're trying to build a community to make sure that people feel safe when they're trading with us. All right. We don't go out trying to sell you a $10,000 course or something crazy. No, we are going to charge you for our time because right now, as you can see, I'm trading the market. I'm always in the market. There ain't no break for me. Matter of fact, why am I only talking to Sanchez and Bruce and, 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 and uh, who is that? Uh, Mar Marcelli. I can't pronounce your name. Cut your cameras on, man. I want to talk to somebody. Isaac, what up? Give me about go ahead 10 on, more babe. cameras. Go ahead. There we go. What's good? What's good? What's up, Scott? What's up, Terrell? What's up, Arnold? Look, somebody talk to your boy, man. Like, we ain't, we out here doing this for y'all, man. And, and y'all come like y'all, y'all got bonnets on y'all head and do-rags on y'all head. Do y'all do that when y'all go to an interview that can potentially change your life? I guarantee you show up with a whole certain shirt and tie on to get that $13 an hour. Let's be real. You feel what I'm saying? Cats over this call is doing some numbers. Cats on this call doing six figures literally in days. You feel me? I'm a six-figure trader. I don't make it in days, but I make it in months. I need y'all to understand what y'all are coming into. I need y'all to understand where y'all mind should be when y'all are plugging in with Pipology. Okay? Now that I got y'all attention, man, what we're going to talk about tonight is binary options. Past performance does not predict future profit. And I need y'all to pay attention for the next 45 minutes. I'm going to try to keep us on time to go for Cashmere to go over everything he needs to go over with you guys because this man... He's been killing the game, okay? He's been killing the game so hard that we literally have partnered with him in Pipology to make sure that we all can do what? Continue to push the narrative to help y'all win consistently in these markets. We're not only just bringing in talent, we're bringing in monsters, man. This dude has changed so many lives on the binary side that I've ever seen in my life. He even got my boy Jay Cash learning binary right now. If y'all ain't seen the video, it's crazy. All right. So please, 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 man, give y'all undivided attention to my brother, my guy, Cashmere Harris. He's about to go over some stuff with y'all that can potentially change your life in these Forex markets and understand that we're here to help you grow. And that's it. Cashmere, man, the floor is yours, my guy. 
Let's talk about this uh this this concept we got brewing right now with Pipology Nation, etc. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So what's going on, y'all? Shout out to everybody that came in here. I mean, I was watching some of the uh some of the man. It's some it's some man, Chili, Baton Rouge, man. Uh shout out to y'all, Detroit, Orlando. What's up? That's home right now. Uh Dublin, Ireland, and Brooklyn, Baltimore, my hometown, Philly. Let's go. Hey, ATL, man. Listen, guys, listen. Man, shout out to all of y'all. Hey, look, that's what it is, man. So let me see if I can get this camera working. What's going on, y'all? What's going on? Hey, hey man, so uh, shout out to, uh, to Los for giving me that introduction. I appreciate you. Um, Los don't never get nobody introduction. I'm going to tell y'all that right now. Los, is uh, he, he gets the introductions done. Like, he come out, Mike Tyson music, groves. I don't know if y'all, bro, listen, we got footage. We got footage. Los have come down. He got a wrestling belt now. Like, y'all really can't tell that guy nothing. He, he come through, man. He come to play, man. So I ain't got all that just yet. You know what I'm saying? I, all I got is like a fitted hat that I'm working on. Um, but with that being said, guys, what's going on? It's your guy, Cousin Cash, man. And I'm going to break down a few things for y'all. I know a lot of you guys have been hitting my inbox. A lot of you guys have been like showing me a lot of love, man. It's only right that I show you love back. And I try to really get to everybody. But when I tell you I have like 2,300 uh, messages, and I'm going to get to them. So if you sent the message, man, just sit tight because I'm coming your way. Uh, but for the most part, I am definitely here to kind of break down to you guys a couple of th things about binary options that you're going to want to hear. Now, a lot of you probably have been doing the, you know, the due diligence on your homework on binary options. And a lot of companies, I won't say their name, but a lot of companies hit y'all with the game about making a lot of money with binary options and winning in binary options. And then they show you all these crazy strategies. but don't quite work. And a lot of that comes from they got y'all recruiting heavy, like recruit, 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 and you're not getting the, the information. And I'm going to tell y'all uh, my secret. So what I need for everybody on this call to do is to go on ahead, grab your notepad, your pen, because for the next 40 minutes or so, man, I'm going to put y'all on some real game to what's really going on in the binary options world, what to look for. My guy, look, Mark, Mark, what's that, Marcelo? Marcel said he got the, he got the, uh, he got his notepad out. So make sure y'all do that, man. Because look, I'm about to share some sauce that's not only that they're charging a lot of money for, but I'm gonna give it to you for free in hopes that you understand that if there is a charge and there is a small charge that comes with working with me. But let me tell you why. Let me start off there. One, I don't believe in people getting anything necessarily for free because people don't respect free or cheap. Let me tell you all that right now. Right. And so if you probably got something that somebody gave to you and, and at the time when they gave it to you, it was probably like the dopest thing in the world, almost like a Christmas present. Right. When you were a kid, by next Christmas, you're not playing with it no more. Right. But if it was something that you had to work hard for. OK, no doubt. If this was something that you had to work hard for and whatnot, then um, for the most part, uh, hey, shout out to Danny. I see you, mom. So this is something you have to work hard for, man. This is something that you wouldn't take serious. Everybody wants to win in binary. They want to win. They want to get to that bag because binary can yield you a lot of money in a short period of time. But let's be real. A lot of people won't respect the fact that it takes a good amount of uh, work to make that happen. So by all means, like, definitely understand that you have to invest in yourself. If you can't invest your emotions properly, if you can't invest your own wallet properly, you can't expect for the amount of information that I'm going to give you in a bag that you could get, you can't expect that to work out for you, all right? So make sure y'all put that down, invest in you first, okay? I'm not going to hit y'all with the guru nonsense, man. And we family, so we're going to talk like cousins. So occasionally some things is going to come out really harsh, but I'm only saying them harsh because I don't want y'all to think at all that this is going to be one of those things where I'm going to sell y'all on something. I'm not. If anything, I'm going to try to tear y'all down and tear y'all away from it, right? And if, if, if I can't do that, then you're successfully ready to begin to trade binary. Let me tell y'all some things that will scare you about binary. First off, you can lose a lot of money. And I would even go as far as saying way more money lost in binary than in Forex. Here's why. You take a penny and Forex, you're going to win 10 cents per pip. You go 20 pips, what's that, two bucks, right? 
you didn't came up $2 off of one penny. Well, in binary, if you risk $1, you could lose that $1 or you can gain whatever the payout is. If that don't sound like that's scary to you, then let me explain the scary part. It's addictive, um, right? See, Bruce know what I'm talking about. It's addictive, right? So what happens is you're going to end up throwing that dollar out there and you're going to get that 80 cents back. And then it's going to be like, man, that 80 cents wasn't about nothing, right? What am I doing for 80 cents? I don't want this shit. I, that's how you're going to be, right? That's the truth. So this is what's going to happen from there. At that moment, you're going to throw $5 up there. All right, cool. Then the $5 is going to bring back like $2, $3. You're going to be like, man, I don't want this. This is $5. I need to make some money. Everybody jump in and then they get caught up, especially when they hit their demo. Oh, my God. Y'all run up that $30,000 in your demo? Man, you man, you get that S on your chest. It just grow on there, right? You all notice that, right? That cake fly out. You start checking yourself in the mind. I'm too cool to be embarrassed. Like y'all, y'all hit that, right? And then you drop the ball. <laughs> then you drop the ball because you go and get live and low key, your heart start jumping out your chest when you risk that one dollar. It don't hit the same. It ain't the same when you was in your demo and you risked the dollar because it was nothing to hit the top up button. And look, it never happened. Yeah, I blew 60 accounts, but don't nobody else know but me and these four walls. So it never happened, right? All right, cool. Hop in your demo. You begin to over leverage. And if you don't know what over leveraging is, well, over leveraging is that moment you put money in that account and you don't realize that the moment you funded your brokerage account, that money was gone. You lost it at that moment because most brokers won't let you take out the full amount. Well, it's the fees and, the, and all that stuff, right? The withdrawal costs. It ain't never the amount you put in. Then you jump in, you're like, all right, I'm going to turn this into something. And your first loss or two, if your first two loss don't rattle you, don't shake you, you might got a fighting chance, but lose two straight. Man, that's going to feel like you lost $2,000. You going to, you gonna, man, your mom going to call and be like, yo, I'm, I'm doing something. Like you, you going to snack on your folks. Don't have no kids around when you trade and they live. You going to catch a case. You got to trade solo. You know what I'm saying? You got to trade by yourself when you trade in binary options because you, it's so addictive. This is why legally they are afraid to, to actually declare it a full onslaught. Like in certain places, it's outlawed. They're like, oh, that's gambling. No, it's not gambling at all. You know what I'm saying? It's not gambling. If you use the right methods, the right strategies, it takes the same amount of wherewithal that you would have in Forex and binary to be successful. But you got the martingale uh, strategies where people lose a dollar so they bet twice, lose that and bet four times to try to get they, you got all that going on, right? And then they're losing. And then it's like, you got the people that's trading Forex and because Forex kind of look, or I should say binary kind of looks like Forex. You're like, yeah, I know my candle stuff. I know my candle structure. Yeah, I know that. That's a doji. Ooh, that dragonfly mean, right? You get to talking to yourself. You be in your book. Candlestick Bible, page 19. Yeah, that's what that is, right? And so what happens at that point is now you got it. Let me go in for this trade. I'm going to win this. I lost. Oh, man, the Candlestick Bible. You know what? That page was torn out. I, you know what? Uh, the King James version of the Candlestick Bible told me something different. You know what I'm saying? And you get caught up with thinking that just because it's Forex and you know a little bit about Forex that you're going to master binary because binary is so simple. How is binary simple? Um, Binary itself means yes or no. If the price is at a dollar fifty, this is the only question you're being asked in binary. Will price be above a dollar fifty in let's say fifteen seconds, or below a dollar fifty? If you choose above, you press and buy. You're buying for fifteen seconds, right? That's where options come in. At options means it's a fixed amount, fixed amount of time, fixed amount of income, right? So. You'll get scared when it's a situation where you're trading Forex. And as you trade this Forex, you're like, okay, all right, it's going to too much drawdown. I'm out. But in most binary brokers, blood in, blood out. That means once you get in, ain't no exit strategy. 
So only a few brokers that offer an exit strategy, meaning once you go on profit, you can take your money and run like Nadex. But all the ones that's going to pay you a good amount of money, whew, like pocket options, like Quotex, IQ options, race options, all the ones that have that type of platform. Oh, yeah. Oh, just know that once you in, you in, you got to deal with the expiration time. No takes, tees, backs. Okay. They get real selfish. This is what I mean by you begin to lose money because you'll win, you'll win, you'll up the price, and it drops. Then you try to figure out what's going on. You try to figure out what happened. You blow an account. Then you on YouTube talking about how binary options is a scam. How Forex is a scam. How the dude in the yellow, the yellow squad, he's a scam because y'all didn't do the due diligence. All right, well, we're going to nix all of that. I'm going to introduce to you guys, if you don't know already, three different ways to be able to be profitable. One is using Arrow. If you've never heard of Arrow, then I'm going to, you're going to learn today. Arrow is a real simple tool, right? We use the first strategy. Let me tell you how simple it is, right? Everybody, if you're after the bag, if you if you are on this call to get to the next level to get to the bag, drop it in the chat for me. Do me a favor and just blow the chat up with bag. Let's see how this works. See if it works out. And it was 115 people. So like, let's see how many people are serious about getting to the bag. Let me tell you a thing or two about getting to the bag. You are going to get to the bag so fast with Arrow. And here's why. Because the very first strategy is called the bag strategy. Bounce, Arrow, go. That's simple. You're going to see it bounce off of a zone. And, and what's dope about Arrow is it does the top-down analysis for it. Okay? So y'all know what a chart looks like when, with, you know, when it's no candles. Y'all seen a line chart and all of that? Look intimidating. And once you use or man, look at a candle with no indicators. A naked candles? Oh God. Anybody ever trade naked candles? Right? I'm looking at some of the faces, right? But I can see you with the camera off and you looking with the shrewd up face, like, yeah, it ain't work out. Right? It ain't work. Yeah, well, you know you serious when your voice gets scratched, like, yeah, it ain't good. well, yeah, I, I, I've been naked before. Like, nah, a naked chart. Man, it'll humble you real quick. Because when it comes to a naked chart, you sitting back like, man, I'm going to kill it, man. I can look at it. I'm going to trade this. It never go your way. You end up owning your mama money. Because, you know what I'm saying? Like, you didn't spend the rent funding your account that you blew eight times already. You know what I'm saying? You like, I'm going to pay you back on a mom, on third. My mama, mama pay you back on the third. I swear, you lying to her. You know what I'm saying? You lying to the public. And so what happens is now you take something like Arrow and Arrow does all the top down analysis for it. It's giving you support resistant zones, not lines, but zones, right? So don't take my word for it. You can YouTube Arrow, A-I-R-O, or you can go into the hashtags of Facebook or you can go to the hashtags of Instagram. And if you're unfamiliar with Arrow, look it up. So simple. It bounces off the zone. It gives you an arrow. You hop in. And if it's Forex, 20 pips, you dip. 20 pips and dip. And binary, man, you hop in, you take a two, three minute trade, you're out of there. We call that the one, one, two. Two jabs, one right hook. You take your money home. Okay? So make sure y'all write that down. Note to self, check out Arrow. I'm gonna tell you, if you trade Forex, and you're not trading with arrow, you're doing yourself a disservice. Don't take my word for it. Go into, I mean, listen, you can go into the Black Squad chat. You can look it up. There's so many results. There's so many results. Uh, in the link right now, there is, there's a link in the chat right now. Y'all can check that out. Just check it out. Don't take my word for it. I'm just, I'm just a guy who knows a thing or two about a few things that I'm talking about. That's it. You don't know me from a game of paint. Marcel, you know what I'm talking about, bro. You know what I mean for campaign. But the but the reality to it is, at the end of the day, the proof is in the pudding. I can show you better than I can tell you. Now, number two, I can't wait to introduce this to you guys. It's called the ATM strategy. Make sure y'all write that down. The ATM strategy. 
This is something that works. Turn up. Future, thank you, sir. Good looking, good looking. So, this is called the ATM strategy. Y'all know what ATM stands for, right? No? If you know what ATM stands for, you can drop it in the chat. ATM, ATM, ATM. Everybody but Sanchez, because I see his fingers already typing. All right, Lexi Dodge and you too. All right, Bruce said automated teller machine. All right. Let's go. Always their money. Always their money. Always their money. That's the money we withdrawing. You don't want to withdraw your money, right? Listen, always their money. The ATM strategies, all the strategies that you're going to need to be able to get to the bag in anywhere between 15 to 30 seconds. Imagine. Waking up every day at about eight in the morning, Eastern Standard Time. So that might be seven where you are, six, five. You wake up in the morning. You check the charts. You look at your setup from the ATM setup. You see your move, you attack. And in 15 seconds, you made $920. You are done for the day. Depending on who you are, you are done for the week, Joshua scratched his head like that simple, bro, that simple, right? Because it's called simplistic complexity, that are simple enough to where any one of you, any 117 of you can do this, but complex enough to where without the proper movements, strategies and information, it's gonna be hard for you to figure it out. Simplistic complexity, right? Do you guys know, and as, as Lo said, past profits don't predict future endeavors Unless you got a flag. I don't know how that saying goes. I botch that joint all the time. But whatever the situation is, he said it earlier, right? That's basically saying that results may vary. But I'm going to tell you right now, there's a lot of people with those results. He shouted out Jeremy Cash. Shout out to my, my guy, bro, because I sat down with him for an hour. And, man, he is just showing off right now. He went from $700 to $10,000, over $10,000. And, and I want y'all to understand something. This is not because that's Jeremy Cash. That's not the case. This is because he followed the rules. He used the strategy. And 15 seconds, guys, in 15 seconds, if you can find that move, 15 seconds, okay, we're talking about $920. Now, if any one of you guys got a calculator, you can do this math. $920 times a 30-day average month. Let's see. Let's see some faces. What's the results? Did you get the results? Did you get it? That's $27,000 a month. And all you did was take one trade one day. Okay? One trade one day. A lot of people going to try to hit y'all with some nonsense. I ain't got time for it. Lowe's don't got time for it. And honestly, y'all don't have time. So that's what the ATM strategy does. Now let's talk money heist. The money heist strategy is a fun strategy also, but that's that good old, if y'all ever seen the movie Money Heist, they in, they out two minutes. So that's a two to five minute strategy. That's the long haul, right? Each one of these things come with a compound plan. Why? Because you do not want to over leverage. You don't want to over trade. Don't be so excited to trade that you want to chart for hours on hours on hours on hours unless you're in your demo. Me personally, I take 1,000 trades a day. I only take one live trade and I take 1,000 demo trades. You understand what I'm saying, guys? See, y'all know it takes 10,000 hours to master something, right? Well, here's the cheat code to it. Do it a lot of times. Document everything that you do. So that way, at some point in time, you are like just a master at seeing everything that could happen. These strategies, if you don't know how a solid winning strategy is, this is why it doesn't when you get on YouTube and you look at people like Lady Trader and some of these other like binary gurus, you know why when you take that strategy, it don't work for you? Real simple, because you don't have these three pieces. So make sure y'all write these three, these three ingredients down 
for your winning formula. The first ingredient is trading psychology. If you are trading for money and you're not trading to have a higher win ratio than losing ratio, you, you have a blown account. Congratulations. All right. Because you're looking at that dollar dwindle. And sometimes it's going to dwindle a little bit. And then your heart gets to pounding. Then you start making some illicit decisions that don't work out. Next thing you know, you got to explain to the wife and kids that this month, y'all going to be candid. Okay? That's one. Number two, you need to know what the broker could do to you. So you need defense. You need defensive strategies. You need smaller defensive strategies. Hey, can the broker slow my time down? Hey, can the brokers manipulate my charts? Hey, can the brokers manipulate? Yeah, camping. <laughs> no, we'll say not camping. Yes, camping. So can the broker manipulate my charts? Can the broker manipulate um, uh, 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 my milliseconds? You need to know if all these things can happen to you and why they happen to you so you can avoid it. Come on, man. Mike Tyson is one of the baddest men to ever hop in a ring. We all know that. Who willing to take a punch from Mike? Yeah, I'm not. Right? But I'd fight him if uh, I knew every punch he was going to throw before he threw it. Right? Changes the, the game a little bit. Now you got a little heart. Like, yeah, Mike, you better go ahead with yourself. Like, now you got a little, you got a little swagger and you can talk when you're talking to him, right? We're talking reckless. What else? That's how this broker situation is. If you know what the broker could do to you, you know how to counter that, that, that strike against you, right? You know how to use the momentum of what the broker's doing to you and the charts against them. But they don't want you to know that. Then number three. So we got our trading psychology, our defensive strategies, and now our offensive strategies. You use the offensive strategies, guys to now attack in the charts. Your trading psychology controls your emotions. Your defensive, I mean, this goes as far as saying the defensive aspects show you and let you know what you can do based on what they're gonna do to you. And then thirdly, the actual strategy to look for when you take the ATM strategy or bounce zero go or the money heist. Any of those three strategies, and you run with it. Now, the beautiful part about learning these three things is each one of those strategy styles I named, arrow being an indicator, it's a whole trading platform. It has 10 solid strategies. Money heist, 10 solid strategies. ATM, 10 solid strategies. Now, if you're thinking, hey, that's a lot to learn. If you don't know it well enough to teach it, don't jump in your life. That's my personal gift to you guys. Don't blow no more accounts. It's 125 people on here that should be able to hear my voice right now. If you don't know what you're doing well enough to teach it, do not go into your life. My personal advice. If you know when to trade and when not to trade, you won't blow an account. Okay? Make sure y'all drop that down because that's super important. Okay? No guru on YouTube is going to hop on and be like, hey, y'all, don't take those trades if. Why would they do that? They trying to get that time up. They trying to sell whatever they're going to sell and be done. These trading strategies work. A lot of them work on YouTube, but if you don't have the trading psychology down to understand them, then all you have is a video that you can show somebody and say, hey, look, they ran it up. They could do it. I'm telling you guys, I'm pleading with you guys, if you love your money enough <laughs> to not just lose it, not to just give it away, then employ those three articles of ingredients to create that formula. If you right now are studying anything that don't implore a defensive strategy, an offensive strategy, and trading psychology, you are in the wrong place. 
And I'm not telling y'all that because I'm introducing y'all to the yellow squad, but I'm telling y'all that because everybody in the yellow squad that's in it already, already knows it, accepts it, applies it, and wins from it. We already know. You are gassing me if you're giving me a strategy that don't have a mental space for it, an offensive space, and a defensive space. So what we're bringing to you guys is the ability to link up and, and do one-on-ones. We're bringing trade rums to you. And, and it's a lot of things that's about to happen within Pipology Nation. And if you guys want to be a part, then in the chat, the information is being dropped. Now, it's about 8.41. So we got about 19 minutes. Los, is that 19 minutes? 19 minutes left? 19 minutes, 19 minutes. All right. So, Los, what I want to do is uh, it's up to you, bro. If you have a question, I'm willing to, to take about five because of the time, only because of the time. If, if not, you guys you already, I think y'all guys know my, my IGs and my Facebooks and all that good stuff. But um, if you guys have a question, then what you could do is, Drop it in a chat, and Los, you can pick like five questions or so. And yeah, I'm gonna uh, have uh, Danielle. Can you hear me, Danielle? Can you hear me? And R. Sanchez. And R. Sanchez. Go ahead, Los. Perfect, perfect. Yo, do me a favor. I need you to capture the questions. My drugs are wearing off and my mouth is hurting, Ooh. big fella. Yeah. I had yeah. I had some dental work this morning and I'm over here, man. Yeah, you know what it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So if you could catch some questions, Sanchez, man, and you could throw them out, just let me know who they from. All uh, right. It's uh J J X G. Will you teach out these offensive and defensive strategies? Absolutely, Jay. Absolutely. So I'm not going to leave y'all out the, the hang. I'm going to give y'all the real, and I'm going to I'm going to say it in a way that we all understand. We're I like to call everybody cousins because I like to believe that you're family until you're not. You feel me? That's the only way I feel is I feel comfortable with being able to share this information because I could be just as selfish as a lot of these people. Hop on YouTube. And just show y'all a bunch of my winnings and then charge y'all a thousand, two thousand dollars to make it happen. You see what I'm saying? But you don't do people that way. So I feel like if we family, we're gonna talk like cousins. So I'm gonna give you guys the the, the real. And it, it's, if it's going to it, for some of you, it might shoot down your expectations of trading, but at least you will know what you're getting into. So absolutely, cuz I got you. You ready? Yeah. Absolutely. So, so once we buy Arrow, will, will there be training? Absolutely. Once you see the beautiful part about buying Arrow is that not only do you get binary training, but for those who need to be sharper on their forex, you get that too. You get the you get the best of both worlds. I'll show you even how to integrate the two studies to make them work for you. What is your favorite time frame and time by frame for binary? My favorite time frame, my favorite time frame like for a lot of people is uh, the M1. And that's because you get a lot of moves in the M1. Could you please recap ATM strategy, please? The ATM strategy is always their money. It's a whole plot ploy and plan to take the broker's money. Yes. That's the best way I can recap it. Other than that, man. <laughs> Excellent. Always their money. Listen, listen. If you've blown accounts, you've given these jokers enough of your money. It's about time to take some of your money back. Hmm. Uh, everything else is how much is Arrow? They can take that up with Danielle. All right. So, so uh, the homie Danny is in the, in the chat. Make sure you show Danny some love for holding down y'all your questions. She got all of that information. Um, please, can I ask my question? Shoot for it. Go ahead and unmute yourself and ask. Just you. Thank you. 
Um, so I just found you through Jeremy's uh, story today, and then okay. I hopped on this call. So I watched the YouTube video that Jeremy posted today, and um, there was a confusion with um, what he said. So apparently, when the stochastic touches the overbought or the oversold, the market is going to yeah, so um, he said there was a confirmation using the zigzag, but I don't understand what that confirmation is because um, sometimes you think like it's really coming down, but it keeps going up and vice versa because it keeps forming those zigzag lines. And that's just really confusing to um, figure out when it's going to go your way or when it's just like... Uh, uh, the whole thing was just kind of confusing. So I was let, me, wondering let, me, let me let me help with that real quick, it. Cash. Go for let me help, it. Go let me let me just add a little bit of consensus to that. So that's the reason that we push arrow as a trading system. Uh, mm -hmm. We don't call it a trading indicator. We call it a trading system. A lot of people get that narrative of overbought, oversold. That's the first strategy <laughs> that people are taught, you know. But that's not in, indeed a a good strategy to follow. Your, your, your win rate is going to be very low on that because, like you said, it can float above that 80 for a while. But when you have Arrow that's doing what? Paying support and resistance as they build and showing you the retest zones. And then you also have a Market Maker, which is coming, which is a whole nother level. That's going to give you the guide, the map, you know, the keys to success on when you can be expecting a reversal. And Cash is going to go into those details as well. Go ahead, Cash. You got anything to add to that? Hey, so, man, he actually just kind of took the words out of my mouth. The only thing I will tell you directly, moment was, is um, the information will be dropped in the Telegram. Um, but I don't mind sharing a little bit of sauce, right? All right, I'm going to share a little bit of sauce. Los, I'm going to share a little bit of sauce. I love that question that she asked. And so, Do guys, it. make sure you got your notes out. Make sure you got your notes out, right? Let me tell you a thing or two about the underrated zigzag, right? Um, when you utilize the zigzag, the two different zigzags mean, one means trend and one means price action, okay? Now, like I said, I'm on contract, so I can't give a, I can't give a whole lot away, but one is trend, one is price action. Let me challenge you by saying this. I dare you do the homework, and it won't take long, but just do the homework on the trend and the price action, and what he said to you will make sense. If I give you the answer, it will only be get even more questions because it's going to get your engine revved up. I will prefer you, and I, let me see, how do you say your name? Unmute your mic and tell me how to say your name. It's Ola. Ola. Ola? Yeah. What's your nickname? My what? Your nickname. Give me a nickname, an affectionate name, anybody call you. They call um, you Miss O. <laughs> yeah, that's, that works. That's work. Okay, Miss O, I'm going to be looking out for your name. And so what I want you to do is I want you to do your research and I want you to find me on any okay. social media and I want you to tell me what you think it is. And if you get it right, I will give you a free one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's about investing in yourself, though. It's about investing in yourself. If you can show me that you did the research and, and you show me that you invested in yourself, then mm -hmm. I'll do that one-on-one, -on -one, no problem. Okay, so you like me to research the price action versus the trend? I would like for you to research how they work with what Jeremy Cash told you. Okay, got it. All right. Okay. All right. So it's 850, guys. So that means the call is going to be sewn up soon. So let's take maybe a few more questions and then I'll like give me give me about two more, two more good questions. Um, I know y'all got y'all asking a lot of questions, man. And like I said, man, I'm I'm all here. I'm here for you guys. I am not one of those guys that's going to push down or, or like stump you in the head with a bunch of, hey, buy this, buy that. You invest in yourself. If you invest in yourself, I'm right here with you. If you choose to, to hang out in the bleachers, that's cool too. We'll put on a show. 
We got you though. However you want to do it. When will the training begin, please? Oh, really, really, really great question. So all that information will be in the telegram. All of that information, the price on the training and all of that stuff will be in the telegram. So if you are in the yellow squad, let's get it. And I will be like uh, making sure I, I jump in and I'll be dropping tidbits and stuff like that. I like to hang out with my people. So if it's 119 of us, it was like 119 of us on here. Make no mistake, I have no problem with pulling up on y'all and sharing some game and stuff like that. So make sure that the notifications is on in the telegram. But that's where a lot of the information will be dropped at. Cousin Cash, could I rudely jump in, my my brother? Cousin, yeah, Shunga, what's going on, man? Man, doing all right, man. First of all, I just want to give a shout out to, of course, uh, Cash and Loso for having us on the call uh, all the way from Australia. And also our prayers and well wishes for the uh, the good folk in uh, New Orleans. Uh, it's making it to our media channel over here. Um, so that's uh, some tough times for everyone right now. Uh, stressing the importance of uh, keeping our head on straight. Uh, we're in lockdown right now in Sydney. We can't go anywhere. Just trying to keep our sanity. Um, but we're doing all right. Uh, I got my, my wife, Parita, and my brother, Alejandro, on the call as well. Uh, we, we, we took the plunge. Cash, we saw your video. We took the plunge. Uh, we're doing this full time. Uh, they've taken a lot of our money. Uh, we're on demo again. Uh, appreciate the trading psychology offensive and the defensive. Uh, we just probably wanted to understand, I don't know, we, we can't seem to grow the accounts. <laughs> so uh, you can win, you can lose, but overall we got to come out on top. You know, it's always their money. We're just trying to turn the tables this way because we want to go, we, we burnt the bridges. There's no plan B. We're going to go full time, no excuses. So we just, don't know if there's any kind of uh, words of wisdom. Uh, maybe I don't know if it's a if it's an offensive specific strategy that's probably lacking for us, but we've watched it on repeat. And I'm trying to say to ourselves, we're not going insane because we're trying to do the same thing day in, day out, day, afternoon, evening. So just trying to figure out what that missing piece is. So uh, maybe if it's a separate conversation outside of this, but uh, yeah. So Shanger, I'll definitely reach out to you um, after this call a little bit. Um, the, the one thing that I can tell you is this, um, make sure your trading psychology is mastered because I personally know what I've seen from you and from Alejandro. And so I know that you guys have what it takes because you're successful when you're not worried. And guys, make, let this be a lesson to all 119 of you. Shunger is a really, really good friend of mine. And he's uh, one of the people that I work with and his wife. Uh, Brita and his brother Alejandro, they're, they're always on all my calls and everything. And so I've seen them trade and I've seen their results. And I know that when, when we're just, you know, shooting the breeze, they have no problems. But this is what I mean by your trading psychology. Shanger, we'll, I'll work with you after this call or so. Um, I actually got your message. And so um, uh, I got that gift for you. So with that being said, um, Appreciate uh, that. your trading psychology, guys. Man, don't 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 get lax or don't sleep on trading psychology. But so it was a fifty four. That was a, pretty much the last question. How long until the training drops? Uh, again, Gerald. I'm hoping I'm saying you're not uh, right, bro. Um, listen, it, it will be in the Telegram. I promise you that it will be in the Telegram. In fact, let me see. Today is Tuesday. There's a, a little bit going on right now, so. Give us till about this weekend to make sure all the information is to you, to you guys, all right? So that way we can get the ball rolling because I know you guys are anxious and I'm anxious to see how many of my family members on here that I see is going to pull up. I see David Joseph on here. I see Marcel on here, Bruce on here, Josh, Emmanuel, Keem, Antonio. What's that? I'm going to say uh, Yaves. I see, bro. I think I said his name right. Hey, so it's a lot of y'all on here. So with that being said, man, I can't wait to see y'all on. And if, uh, if there's anything else, Los, I know your mouth is on uh, is on his last ankle. So uh, I don't know if you want to take this out, good brother. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Hey, man, look, when I tell you, man, whew, them dinners be going hard, man. I was like, God, dog. Mm -hmm. I've been on that smoothie diet, man, all morning. Man. I'm starving. So really quick but, uh, question. Any did he stand on yeah. your chest? You said what? Did the dentist stand on your chest? Man, he did a whole lot of tricks, man. I was like, hey, bro, we almost spoke. 
I was I like, believe. man. <laughs> you would. Hey, Lois went to the Flintstones. That's all it is. You went to the Flintstones. Right, right. Again, what's up, King? What's good, boy? What's up, Brody? Man, out here, man, trying not to get in trouble with my wife. But, <laughs> hey, so real quick, just to end everything for you guys, man, understand this call was really meant to get y'all information what's going on. Um, this is a very, very private community. That's why you're not seeing us really push this on uh, social media too much. You'll see this through YouTube and you'll see this. All the information will funnel through the Telegram chat. It's one-way communication until further notice. We are going to be launched in Pipology Nation. And it's a lot of perks that come with the licensees of Arrow and, you know, other products that we have there. It's a community that we're, we're building. And so I'm, I'm going to talk to Bruce because Bruce has been, like, plugged in, my guy. So, so look, <laughs> Bruce, look, look, look. Now I'm messing with y'all. I'm talking to everybody. Understand, look, this community that we're building – Imagine a world where you have a community that's going to have 24-7 chat, that's going to have a collaborative chat, a beta group chat, where people can go in and say, yo, I got a strategy I want to add to Aero, right? Or I got a strategy that I want to add to the binary crew, right? And you can build that inside this community. And on top of that, random live sessions with Cash, with, uh, with Bobby, myself, Jeremy, you know, the whole crew, man. The whole goal is to get y'all in a situation where y'all can be consistently profitable. That's the only thing that was stopping me from breaking the chains myself, was saying, how can I do this every single day, right? And now I'm doing it every single day. I post my results on my on my Instagram every single day. I just posted my results from this morning trading US 30 with Arrow. I trade Arrow every single day, right? I'm still picking up binary, but I'm going to tell you right now, I don't have to be a testimony because everybody that's on this call, I see a lot of faces that are already doing this every single day in the binary world from Cash's training. Shout out Sanchez, Akeem, you know, a whole lot of people I see on here, a lot of names. So understand what y'all getting into. This is not a fly by night group. We're family here. You feel me? My goal is to make sure Joshua's winning, Corey's winning, you know what I mean? Ali, Verna, Clark, D, Antonio, you know, all of y'all. The whole goal, hey, Mark, uh, man, I'm going to say your name again, man. I'm going to mess it up. I'm going to call you Gomez, bro. Let's just say Gomez, bro. Let's <laughs> you feel me? So understand what we building, man, is please, please, please pay respect to our time. We're here to help you guys. We're doing it free of charge. We are charging for the community and the culture. But, yo, if we don't monetize the culture, guess what happens? All the work that we're doing, it takes away from our trading time. I trade all day long. Well, really, I really don't don't take that. Let me change that real quick. I trade from 6.30 <laughs> to about 9.30, and then I take a break, and I get back in around 8 o'clock, which is about my time now. I'm in trades right now, and I go into about 10, then I take a break, and then I get on London session. I trade all Understand, in order to be consistent in this game, you got to be in the game. All right? So plug in with us. Uh, Danielle's going to be throwing some more stuff in, in the chat later on this evening. And if y'all want to get Arrow now to be ready for the next call, by all means, do that because you get access to Cashmere immediately because he already has calls inside of AP. We're just adding value to that. With that being said, man, y'all have a blessed evening, man. I love y'all, man. And like we always say on our calls, man, we trade together. We went together. And we most we definitely grow together. Let's, Let's go. go. Let's go. All right, man. Y'all have a good evening. Get in that chat if y'all ain't in that chat, man. Y'all make sure y'all talk to us in there. We're dropping polls soon. Let's go, so.